Hey friends, I'm John Laspina. I'm the carnivore teacher and I want to talk to you today about where to buy food on sale and how to buy food on sale. And there's a little trick I learned when I became a carnivore. I'm not real close to a lot of farms. I'd have to travel hours to go and get a quarter or a half of, of a cow to bring to my freezer. It's easier for me to either buy things online, which then I have to pay for the shipping and the dry ice and the box. I'm paying more money, right? Or I go to Walmart. I go to my local Publix grocery store, I go to Fresh Market, I go to Winn-Dixie. They have meats, and as you and I both know, it's very darn expensive these days. And what I call expensive is any steak that's over $8 a pound, in my mind, is ridiculously priced. It's, over, it's too expensive, and everything seems to be over $8 a pound. I learned not to look at the price and the meat itself. I learned to look at the meat and then look at the, how much does it cost per pound. And some meats, of course, are going to be lower because they're lower quality meats. But uh, here's a tip for you. If it has a lot of fat in it, like ground beef, you can buy ground chuck, you could buy a 70-30, and it costs less per pound than the 90-10 or the 95-5. Because they think, and they're right to think this way, that most people want the leanest cut of ground beef, and most people do. I want the fattiest ground beef. I do. So I'm saving money. So instead of two or three dollars a pound for ground beef, I'm getting ground beef for a dollar fifty, a dollar twenty, and sometimes when it's on sale, like a dollar a pound for ground beef, because I'm getting the stuff with the fat. Now, I have been encouraged to buy the leaner ground beef, and then for me to add my own healthy fat. I like that concept, but sometimes I do that. I prefer to eat the meat that I can afford, all right? You have to do what you can afford. You don't want to bankrupt yourself based on your understanding of diet. You have to be able to pay your bills, but make important and planned decisions on when to buy. So here's the thing I learned being carnivore. You've got your holidays. You've got your Christmas, you've got Hanukkah, you got Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, there's some Muslim holidays, Ramadan, when Ramadan ends and at night when they eat. There's Fourth of July, cookout holiday, Memorial, cookout holiday, Labor Day, cookout holiday. There's Easter. There are so many holidays related to food, which is a good thing because then if you go to the stores, you'll notice the prices per pound come down. That's when I buy my prime ribs. I can buy this beautiful, Standing rib roast, prime rib. It's not prime rib. It's called a standing rib roast because prime rib costs a lot more. But it's pretty darn good. I can get one for about 50 bucks. And the same weight and size on a non-holiday day is over 100 bucks. I'm saving 50%. So I'll buy a couple of them. I know it costs a lot in the moment, but I'm putting them in the deep freeze, my freezer in my garage. And then when I feel like I'm like, let's, I'm going to do prime rib. Oh. <laughs> Love prime rib, one of my favorite meats. Picanha is pretty affordable. So buy around the holidays and then go to the store the day after a holiday. Now I know that the shelves have been picked clean and they haven't restocked all the shelves yet, but whatever's left is on sale even more, even more. You can buy some really cheap ribeyes if you just buy at the right times of the year. And that's when you say, all right, I'm not gonna look at the prices that I'm paying at the checkout, like, oh, I might be spending $200 today. Think about what you're saving in the long run because you're buying all this stuff on sale and you're putting it in the freezer. Okay, I'd rather buy a prime rib that I'm gonna eat three months from now, I buy it for 50 bucks, than when I wanna eat it three months from now and I buy it in the moment for 110 bucks. You're saving money. So that's my trick that I learned is to shop on the holidays and buy in bulk and save for when you want. If you are on a very limited budget, very, very limited budget, ground beef and eggs are very affordable. Can you eat lunch meat? Can you eat salami? Can you eat processed meats? Read the ingredient labels and try to find the processed meats, the sausages, any of that stuff with the fewest ingredients. Make sure it doesn't have a lot of added sugar. Sometimes they use the sugar and it burns off. And make sure it doesn't have a lot of added colors and flavorings. And they add starch to those a lot of times. They do sell clean versions of processed meat. And they're okay. They're way less bad than fast food and ultra processed food. And they're affordable. So bologna's okay. Yeah, I don't like it, but 
You know, if I was super, super poor and was on a really limited budget, I might be eating some processed meats, ground beef, and eggs only because it's all I could afford. I'm not rich. I can't eat filet mignon and prime rib and lobster every day <laughs> like I wish I could, but I'm actually stingy and I'm miserly with my money. So I shop when there's sales and I get the good rich stuff when it's on sale and I'm eating like a king. Carnivore is king. We are kings when we eat this way. Do you realize that? Kings and queens when we eat this way. We're eating the way kings and queens ate years ago. They fed the peasants grains to keep them barely alive and enslaved. It's true. We're eating what the kings ate and the queens ate. Feed yourself and treat yourself like the apex predator king that you are and queen that you are. And you'll be living an amazing life. Have a great day, everybody.